So if I remember correctly, if you come right here to the Black Panther and you check behind the Black Panthers, What is good everybody today we are going on a wwe action figure toy hunt and it is a saturday so i'm sure the aisles are going to be just absolutely atrocious in terms of people you know that's why i don't typically like to toy hunt on saturdays is because it's usually very busy man people going grocery shopping trying to get their things done for the week you know a lot of people work and they don't have time during the week so they go on the weekend and then you go you go on saturday saturday morning-esque and then everything's busy for everybody so it's just the way of the world at this juncture so you hate to see that, but, you know, we'll have to see what comes of it. But we're going to go on a toy hunt. It depends on how how bad the area is, you know. if the We're going to definitely go to a couple stores or at least one store. But if the – I'm going to go to the other stores. If they're trash, I'm not even going to film it because there's no point. I will go in there filming it. But then if it, there's nothing on the aisle, then it's just – a waste of everybody's time, but nonetheless, man, let's shut the hell up, let's get in the car, let's go to our first location and find out if we're finding anything. We're on the hunt for the Monday Night Wars Ultimates, the new Monday Night Wars Series 2 Elites. We're looking for anything, you know, the reset. I'm looking for the reset, man, but I'm getting the hell out, and I'll uh, see you guys on the aisle. All right, fellas, location number one, we got Walmart. I don't expect much, but we'll go in here and find out what they got. All right, guys, here we are, and it's the same BS, man, the same BS, the same sleepy AF Brock Lesnar's, the same Bianca Belair's, the same Eddie Kingston's, the same Chris Statlander, same Thunder Rosa, same Battle Pack, same Tamina, just all the same garbage. However, I do think there's some hope because I think that I know, I think that Roman Reigns I hit forever ago, I think it's still there. But I'm also a clown because I think I hit a three pack up here. Yeah, that's gotta be it right here. I hit a three pack up here. Yep, there it is. The Maya Via Legacy 3-pack. I hid that up there, but I didn't bring my other one to return. So mine's still missing the robe. Should I just review it without the robe, or should I buy two of them? I don't know. I don't feel like spending any 80 bucks on this. But, I th again, I think that Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns is over there hiding. So I don't know what to do about this. May have to hide this, too. Sometimes you got to make decisions. But then there's just Eddie Kingston's. It's all Eddie Kingston's. And I might pick up that Ultimate Roman Reigns finally over the three pack because the three pack as much as i love this rock man i don't feel like spending 80 bucks here today or 70 or whatever it is so i might have to hide this and then go find the roman so if i remember correctly if you come right here to the black panther and you check behind the black panthers yeah there he is brad it's a skill i know it's crazy no but in all seriousness i've hid this roman reigns like six times and i think it's finally time to pull the trigger and i could get an extra legacy pack with the maya via family but I don't feel like spending double or 2.5 the cost of this Ultimate Edition. And so I'm going to be picking up this Roman Reigns and I'm going to be uh, taking it from this spot right here. So I always go for like the bottom row and hide it behind stuff or go second row and hide it behind stuff. That's the best way to do it. Or put it on a different, you know, aisle completely. But the last time I did that with this figure, I ended up losing it and it ended up disappearing and just kind of reappearing on the WWE aisle. So I don't know, man. We'll have to, uh, let's pick it up. We're going to buy this ultimate edition roman and i guess do a customer fix up in the future so let's uh let's head on out back home after the toy hunt what do we got we do have okay i didn't just get the ultimate edition roman reigns figure right here i also got something else that i want to take a look at which i found last minute and we'll get into all that man but we did finally grab that that damn extra Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns. This figure has eluded me. Uh, really, I, I've eluded this figure. It hasn't been this figure eluding me. Damn, my nose itches. Hold up. Christ in a bike. But finally, I said that this figure has been eluding me. No, man, I think it's been the opposite. I've been eluding this figure. I found this, I want to say, dang, oh, man, I don't know, maybe, what, three months ago or something like that? I found this at retail, and I kept avoiding it, and I hit it, and then it got lost, and then I found it on the shelf again, and then I hit it, and it wasn't there, and then the, it reappeared again. And finally, we had this figure in our collections now i am going to be opening this up i'm not going to keep this like this i uh i have some other like minimum card figures down here but i think i want to and uh, i don't think i have enough romans up here that's just a joke but i i only have like one of this ultimate well i have two but one of them is a custom that you guys will have to wait for a while to see but this one is going to be an updated roman reigns that we can fix up and customize so we will be doing that but uh let's take a look at what else we got other than this room but i am glad to finally put this figure behind me and actually have it in the collection oh yeah and i forgot about this if you guys missed my short on this i did make hornswoggle dunking on great Kali. my dog's going crazy in there 
But I did get a request to do Hornswoggle dunking on Great Kali, and so I made that happen. But here's the ball. I had to sticky tack it in there. But there, no, okay. But I went to Target, and they had nothing, man. They had a Thunder Rosa, one WrestleMania Trish, and that was basically it. My Target has been super dry. No damn Legends, no Ultimates, no anything. So it's been very dry, very sickening to look at. Hate to see it. But I did grab this, and you may be wondering, what in the blue hell is this? Well, before my son ripped off the, the wrapping here, I bought one of these mystery minis, and I'm typically not one to buy these unless I find them at dirt cheap. Now, if you find them at dirt cheap or you find them, find them on clearance, I think this was $10, and that makes me want to vomit that I paid 10 bucks for this. But we are going to unbox this. This is a mystery minis KFC set, and I'm going to see what kind of cool accessories we got out of this. But I was, after I scanned it, it was kind of one of those things, you know, where you scan it and it's just like, I've already bit the bullet now. I don't feel like putting it back or getting the lady to come on and take it off. So we're going to unbox this right now and find out if we actually got something good. So let's unbox this and see what kind of damn food options we got from KFC. All right, man. So I know it's kind of a makeshift, but uh, we're going to open this up and see what we got. And hopefully it'll be worth a dang because if it's not, I'm going to be upset. But uh, I'm going to crack this open and here we go. We have these little mystery mini... KFC thing. So I, it comes with five. So I guess I pay what, $2 per item, which I guess is a decent deal when getting into mystery accessories. And oh my God, I got the damn family bucket. What is this? What is this supposed to be? Like this is obviously chicken legs and everything like that. But you can see, look at this. It's like KFC. It's a bucket of chicken. And it's like the family box meal. Okay. So we got that. That's pretty good. I like that. And these are in scale with WWE figures, so I think it really makes it worth it. Okay, there's that. We have, is this biscuits? What is this? What is that? Is this a piece of chicken dipped in hot sauce? What is that? It looks like a deep fried brain, to be honest. Or is this a biscuit? I can't tell. I think this is a thing of chicken. I, I don't even know what the hell I'm looking at. Okay, well, we got that. Okay, it works, you know. I guess we need to have a show sponsored by KFC and do like a KFC, I don't know, crazy KFC match. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is pretty good. We have a plate that is KFC themed and it has a bunch of biscuits. So we got four biscuits. So if this is, what is this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be just chicken breasts? Who the hell dips just a full chicken breast into the sauce? That doesn't make sense. But here's a plate of biscuits. So we did get a little plate of biscuits there. I'll sit them on the table when we're done and take a look at what we got here, but we got another box and it is, or another bucket. We got a bucket of chicken. It looks like a bucket of chicken, I guess. Got Colonel Sanders in there. We got the Colonel, so that's good. I never made that custom Dolph Ziggler as Colonel Sanders. I tried and I was going to do it, but I never, I never completed it. What in the hell is that supposed to be? Is this a pot pie? I think this is a pot pie. What in the hell? I'm pretty sure, is this not a pot pie? Like, you, but look how, it looks like it's broken, but it's not broken. You can like plug that in and it looks like a full pot pie. And you pull that off and you got the pie underneath. That's very interesting. All right, let's put it on the table real quick. All right, man, so here's our dinner. We got this whole big old feast. This is definitely going to add to the setups though. When we have KFC catering the events and stuff, can you imagine Kevin Owens dumping a bucket, a bucket of chicken on somebody backstage or something like that? This is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I, I'm... I like some of it. Some of it I don't like. I like the biscuits. The pot pie is kind of cool. I wish I could tell what this was exactly, but I can't tell what, like, look at that. It's just a float. I know you're supposed to have it like somebody dip their their hand in the or dip their food in the sauce, but it's a bit weird. And then the buckets of chicken are okay, I guess. They're, they're pretty solid. I like the split one there. I don't know. Pretty cool. Nonetheless, I did pick that up on our hunt, so I figured why not go ahead and plug it in the video of me unboxing it and at least seeing what the hell we got. But this is kind of what we're working with. We got the Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns. We have the KFC catered food minis here, and we do have Hornswoggle dunking on Great Kali. I mean, pretty damn good day at the office. And I also got my extra Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes here, and I don't know if I want to take this out and customize it or if I want to leave it mint on card. I I think it's pretty good as far as the packaging is concerned. It's pretty minty. You know, I, I don't have any damage on there, which is always something you look for. But at the same time, man, I don't know. I kind of want to unbox it and do some customization to it, maybe fix it up some. And, you know, I have a really cool custom in mind that, you know, again, I can't really show off, but the idea is there. And there's a lot of customs behind the scenes going on. But I think that is everything besides what we already took a look at with the Maya Via 3-pack. Haven't reviewed that. Haven't reviewed the Ring of Honor Bucks. So I definitely got to catch up on my reviews, but I was going to go on a toy hunt today on this Saturday, see so what was up. And all of my areas 
have been dry as hell. So I figured why not at least grab the Roman Reigns and then we will, you know, cover it and then uh, going to Target and it falling through, which sucked, but at least we got some damn KFC food. I also added some new lights to the arena, so I did add some lighting to it since the last time you saw it. So I did pick up some of these lights here, which kind of like face the arena a little bit. So it kind of illuminates the front side. A lot of the lighting was coming from the top, and now we get some lighting that's coming from the face of it. So it kind of lights up the whole entire thing there, which looks a lot better, man. So wanted to showcase what that looked like full pan of the arena before I wrap up the video there. But there's kind of an overview shot. But nonetheless, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up our toy hunt style video and unboxing, I guess you could say. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know what you think about the toy hunt. What do you think of the little mystery minis and whatnot? Let me know all those things down below, man. But I'm getting the hell out. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all you fellas so very much for your continued support. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.